Justice Good here, and today I'm going to show you how you can apply a blending option more than once on your layer. So let's say you head over to your text tool and you type out whatever text you want to use and whatever font in size you want. And you go right click on your layer and select blending options. So here you can add all the different blending options. So let's try a stroke. Of course, we can select the size, the color, etc. I'm going to use a yellowish gold stroke. So once you find the color that you want, if you're doing a stroke or whatever other blending option you're doing, you can change the size, uh, the position, inside, center, outside. These are all various settings that Photoshop gives you to experiment with. So I'm going to keep mine at about a size of 9 pixels and outside position with the yellow color. But now let's say I wanted to apply another stroke I can't go back and click it, all I can do is change my current stroke even if I right click and rasterize my layer it still doesn't let me add another stroke but if I right click on it and select convert to smart object you can see it converts all into one object and I can add another blending option so I can add another stroke on top of that or whatever other blending option you choose just be sure you like your original stroke before you convert it to a smart object because once you do you can't go back and edit it unless you undo all the way back to that point so as you can see on these different blending options in second and third strokes you apply you can change the size and the color to whatever you want so this multiplies your possibilities with what type of layer you can create and you can do this with drop shadows or outer glows so you can have multiple different angle drop shadows and so on and if you want to do it again just convert it to another smart object and the possibilities are pretty much endless you just gotta make sure you like what you're doing before you continue because again you can't really go back and edit your first stroke or your first blending option that you choose so that's just one way to use this so experiment on a design of your own and figure out how you like to stack your blending options. And if you like this tutorial, check out these previous tutorials. I'll see you next time.